Hey to the internet, it's me Trey back on the porch. I know it's been a minute, but damn, i just been busier than Donald Trump at a fuck shit up conference, so I apologize. But I wanted to come out here because a lot of people have asked me what I think about Black Lives Matter. Well, put simply, I think that they do. Goddamn. And further, I think that responding to that sentiment with all lives matter would be sort of like telling Susan G. Komen to chill it with all the pink shit on account of all cancer sucks. That last part's true, but it ain't really the fucking point. But a lot of other people have talked about those things a lot better than I can. I want to do what I do and address my people for a minute. Because, see, this has been framed largely as being Black Lives Matter versus the police. And from what I've seen, rednecks have pretty unanimously been against Black Lives Matter, which is pretty funny to me. Rednecks, help me out here. When did we start liking cops? I must have missed the memo on that one, boys. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, rednecks and the police are natural enemies and pretty much always have been. You ever seen the show, Cops? About every other episode takes place in the damn trailer park. And if that ain't enough for you, the single most popular redneck TV show of all time is literally just about two cousin fucking good old boys running from the law in a sweet-ass orange car. You ever see Smokey and the Bandit? The hero ain't fucking Smokey. It's sort of a whole thing with us. I've been surrounded by rednecks my whole life. I have never once seen them react positively to a sudden police presence. Though, to be fair, it's sort of hard to stay positive when you think your midget mud wrestling tournament's about to get shut down. Dirty little titties, skew! See, that's the thing. Cops do fuck rednecks. Always have, probably always will. But we're usually up to some pretty redneck shit. Goddamn, man, what's this country coming to? When a man can't even put a stick of dynamite inside a washing machine with Obama's face painted on the side of it without some pussy calling the law. See, cops and rednecks have a strained relationship because cops typically stand in the way of our shenanigans. But imagine for a second that instead of busting us for trying to sell our food stamps for weed money, they were busting our heads open for resisting arrest. One of our favorite pastimes, by the way. Or they were murdering rednecks in front of kids because we had a gun in the truck which we always do. What would we say then? What would the NRA say then? Because rednecks love guns, and if you ask them why, one of the most common answers would be because they need them in the event of oppression from a tyrannical government. But when a group of people who deals with that kind of oppression on a day-to-day -day basis carries firearms and pays with their lives for it, we're nowhere to be found. Not advocating violence against police officers, the assholes who did that are deeply disturbed outliers who don't represent the movement. My point is, I would have hoped that rednecks of all people could have empathized with this whole thing. But we don't. And I wonder why. Just kidding. I don't wonder. Nobody does. Because everybody knows the reason. And that's sort of the whole problem. I'll see y'all next time.